Hi, I'm C360 on the BlenderArtists.org forum. I'm going to give you a quick strategy for insetting text into a surface, and it will have nice, clean, quad edges that will be suitable for using either a subsurface or a bevel modifier. Using a Boolean modifier to create your inset text can be problematic because it creates all these little triangles. Triangles along edges don't cooperate well with a subsurface modifier. You can attempt flat shading or edge split modifiers, but that doesn't give you a bevel. Whenever you have triangles, it's hard to smooth the mesh. So let's set up the scene. Let's delete the default cube and lamp. We'll add some text. Hit 7 on the numpad for an overhead view. Let's change the characters to what we saw before for a gold bar. And we can center it we probably are not going to need all these faces. Let's first convert it from object type text to object type curve. We're going to reduce the number of control points. Just We're adding subsurface anyway. This gets rid of some extra faces. Just to the point that we get the shape back. Hit 3D to get just the outline. And this is important. Select all the handles and change them to free. This will more evenly distribute your points. So subsurface or subdivision surface won't change the shape as much. Now we change the object type back to a mesh. And we're going to add a, sub, a solidify modifier. This is how we're going to get our extrusion along the normals outward from the text. And this is first just the mechanics of dividing the mesh into two parts. Hit Control P, separate by selection, and let's just work with the bottom part first. Solidify, inset, change the even thickness. Look how beautiful that is. This is better than doing it with the text or curves because they only will do extrusion in one direction and it changes the plane. So now let's go and fill in these faces. I applied the modifier and got rid of all the vertices except for one plane, the bottom plane. And now I hit Alt F to fill in the faces. We can try getting some of the tries to quads. Probably won't do any good. Hit Control I and we'll set up for later. Let's go to the top part. Now, we will delete these in a little bit. We don't need to yet. First, we need to apply our Solidify modifier. We will extrude outward. Go ahead and make it even. Just so it doesn't overlap, don't worry too much about the corners. It won't look bad later unless you're right on top of it. Uh, don't delete those yet. First, we have to apply the Solidify modifier. Okay, now, we'll select all those on the bottom and delete them. And let's join these two with a control J. And now we will select the interior edges of the top. And that's what lines up directly with the outside edges of the bottom. Once we get all of these selected, they line up just so. We're going to extrude with E, scale, choose Z, zero, and then delete or remove the doubles. Select non-manifold. Let's make sure just the outside edges at the top are, select, are coming up yellow, and they are. Now let's add a plane and delete just the face. We'll subdivide down. This is what we will stitch in. And by subdividing a little bit, it will help with the number of points on a sing all the triangles coming into just four points. We've got it spread out now. Alt-F again creates the faces. And look what happens with the subdivision surface. Nice and smooth because all of the edges were quads. So I'm going to spare you modeling the gold bar. We'll skip forward to having it already stitched in. I just added some control loops or control R for
the uh, the loops and then stitched in this flat plate. And we've got nice quads everywhere we need a quad. So you can use a bevel modifier or a subdivision surface. And look how nice it is. We'll put a material on this, a nice glossy gold coating. And let's render it in cycles. By the way, I did include an environment already. This is flat shading but it looks good already. One of the things that we'll find is if you put smooth shading on along edges that are angled quite a bit away from the the camera they'll look black with a shiny material like this. And yeah, Let's change this to smooth. You'll get an idea what I'm talking about. Still looks good. Let's take off subdivision surface. There you go. Now it's black. So let's put it back on and put on smooth and you're done. Hope this helps you. If you've got suggestions for me, feel free to email me at steve at redlinerender.com.